the white line is the water level and this is the raft and since we know that its relative density is 0.6 it floats with 60% of its volume submerged and 40% outside. Now when we start loading students onto it one by one the raft sinks deeper and deeper until the raft is just fully submerged. At that point the water is touching the feet of the students and if you add one more student the raft and the students will sink. So when the maximum number of students have been added, this is the situation. The raft is fully submerged. So volume of the water displaced is the volume of the raft, 4 cubic meters. And let us say n students are standing safely on top of it. Since the raft is still floating, the buoyancy force is balanced by the total weight of the students and the raft. So the buoyancy force is volume of the water displaced multiplied by density of water multiplied by g and the total weight is going to be equal to the mass of the students which is 50 kilograms each times n plus the mass of the raft which is the total volume of the raft multiplied by the density of the raft that gives me the mass of the raft multiplied by g gives me the weight. And since everything is in equilibrium buoyancy is equal to weight so g cancels and let's substitute numbers. The volume is 4, the density of water is 10 power 3 kilograms per cubic meter and that is equal to 50 times n plus volume of the raft which is 4 multiplied by the density of the raft which is 0 0.6 times the density of water. So we have 4000 here and bring this term to the other side minus 2400 is equal to 50 times n. So 1600 divided by 50, so n is equal to 32. So 32 students can safely stand on the raft. That's the maximum number. Let's move on to the next problem. So here is a drawing. You have a steel sphere with a cavity. Now the cavity actually need not be spherical need not be centered, the answer will still be the same. You'll see. The sphere, let's say the total volume is V. And half of it is submerged. So V by 2 is the volume of the water displaced. Multiplied by the density of water gives me the mass of the liquid displaced. Multiplied by G is the weight of the liquid displaced and that's the buoyancy. And that's acting upward and acting downward is the weight of the hollow sphere. Let's say the fraction F of the total volume is the cavity. Therefore, the volume of the actual metal, the stainless steel is V minus this multiplied by density of steel multiplied by g is the weight. This is v times 1 minus f and the density of steel is given as 8 times the density of water times g. Since it is floating the weight is equal to w. So density of water and g cancel on both sides. v cancels and so we have 8 times 1 minus f is equal to half. And that gives us the fraction f as 15 divided by 16. That's the fraction of the total volume that is the cavity. That's it for today. Thank you guys. Goodbye.